Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm here right now. Ugh, my hair looks kind of weird. Um, but I'm here right now because I decided that I really wanted to do a video for you guys. And I was thinking, and I was thinking, and I was like, what the heck do I want to do it on? Because, like, my hair's done, my makeup's done, I don't really feel like you're doing anything. And I was like, I'm going to do a vlog. I almost said vlog, but I meant vlog. With a V, as in vegetable. Vegetable, yeah, okay. So, I was like, what can I do my blog about? And I decided that I'm going to do it on, um, well, there's a little background information. My sister's graduating high school this year. She's going off to college. And I'm so excited for her to graduate. Not because I'm excited for her to leave and go away from home, but because I'm excited because I'm excited for her to grow and experience new things. And we're really close. And then I hope she just continues to talk to me all the time. Because, like, my sister's, like, my best friend. Or one of them, anyway. And, um, like, I know she won't forget about me. I just hope we stay in touch and talk all the time and things like that. Um, but what I wanted to do my vlog on today was cheap gift ideas that you can give to graduates that you're really close to. Um, pretty much, I mean, we only have one, but I'm just going to tell you guys now that a graduation gift doesn't have to be money. You don't have to go out and give someone $50 because they're graduating. What I did for my sister was I found something that I love and I found some way to make it personal. So, first I will show you her card. Her card is not filled out yet, but I got this actually two years ago and I just found it and I was like, oh wow, I totally forgot about this. Hold on, let me fix my camera. There we go. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this card. But ever since me and my sister were little, we've been obsessed with penguins. And so this little card, you've probably seen this somewhere because it's a really common phrase for graduation. But it's got all these little penguins on an iceberg, and then this one little penguin's just flying up above, and they're all looking at him like, oh, what's going on? And you open it, and it says, you soar while others merely water. Water? Water? Waddle. Congratulations. And I got that for her because... It was just something really, really cute that's kind of like an inside joke that we have, like, about penguins and things like that. And so I still have to write in it. But that isn't the best part. Um, it is a little dirty. I need to wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol. But what I got, well, what I made for my sister for her graduation is this scrapbook. And mainly what I made it, what pictures I put in it, are pictures of me and her. It's got a little bow over here. It's really, really cute. It's mainly pictures of me and her. Um, there are, there's like a recent picture of there with me and her and her best, and our best friend. We like all get along really well. And I'm not going to go through it and show you the pages because it is really, really thick. And I actually have two more pages I still need to do before her graduation in two weeks. But I'm just going to show you guys just like a few pages just to give you some ideas. This is like the first page. That's also a little, and that's us in Naples. You probably can't see really good, but... These are just, like, this is just the front page, and I just wrote a little message for her. It says, hope you never forget all the good times we had. Love, Kelly. And then, I'm trying to think if this is going to be better if I put it down. Yeah, I'm going to put this down here and pick up my camera so you guys can see it. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to put it down on the ground. So give me two seconds. Two, 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 per, I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys just saw this page. I'm not going to really elaborate on each page, but this is just pictures of when we were little, more of when we were little, Halloween one year, more of when we were little, vacation we had, dance pictures from company things and recitals. And basically these are just all pictures. This is the Nick Hotel. These are just all pictures of us um, growing up. This is the Disney, um, pretty much all the Disney trips we've had over the years. As we got older, we didn't really take pictures that much of Disney. Um, but, I mean, this you got from when we were really, really little to when we were, I mean, a little bit older. Not that much older, but... Then you got more Disney. This was just a hotel in Orlando that we stayed at. Look how weird I looked. That's my, that does not look like her at all. Let me find a better picture of my sister for you guys. That's also me a little. This is just a page I did because we matched a lot. If you guys want to see a more in-depth look at this scrapbook, leave me comments and let me know. And then I said, even when we were older, look at that. That was taken like two years ago. My smile is disgusting. Cover that up. 
Um, it's so big. And this is my favorite picture. It was us snorkeling, which I just thought was so funny. And then this was just, um, just kind of another page of just random pictures that I had nowhere else to put. Just saying we grew up so fast. And then this is Key West. This one's one of my favorite pages. This is Key West of the Years. And I have kind of like a few pictures from each year on here. I didn't really take that many. This was the most recent year. That's a sling ping pong. And then this is New York. I just have a bunch of pictures from New York. This little thing. I put it on Crooked, which really makes me upset. This page is by far my favorite. It's Sister Love, and we're both kind of obsessed with Hello Kitty. And pretty much, it's just random pictures that I took. Me and her. Just like, and the funny thing is, if you, like, point to a picture, I can tell you where it's from. Like, this is when we found a turtle behind our house and kept it as a pet. This is on a cruise in Key West. This was on Christmas. This was arm wrestling in Finn McCool, which is an Irish pub. That was during the Nutcracker. Christmas, Miss Stanton, which is our high school pageant. That was the day she got her bunk bed up. We just, some of these are really silly, these, like that one. Some are kind of dark, like that one. And then some are just like smiling, just like that one. But that's one of my favorite pages. I love these two pages. They're pretty awesome, if I may say so myself. Then I have our trip to Washington, D.C. And these are just up us scaling the Lincoln Monument. That was her hat she made over her scarf because her ears were cold. It was cherry blossom season when we went, which made us really excited. I realize I'm going a lot more in depth in these pictures. Now, this is just a Disney dance trip we had, and we did a lot of posing in on the little X's and O's on the football field. It was like a sports hotel. Yeah. And then this is... Cubbies and Campfires, which was um, when we went to the Cubs game, when we went to Illinois, and we just, like, hung out at my aunt's and roasted around a fire. We went canoeing, and um, our dog Waffle, he jumped in the water and swam out to our boat, and we got him, and he was soaking wet. So, that's that. This is one of my favorite pictures of us, just like a piggyback ride. And this page is empty. I need to put um, our trip to Mexico there. And this page is, actually, this page beats the Hello Kitty page, my favorites. I forgot about it because um, I just did it not that long ago. You can see there's a blank spot right here. I have to put a picture in there. But then came junior year, and this is her junior year. So that's when she was crowned with Stanton. Um, our first musical we did together, our cousin's wedding, more cousin's wedding, more stuff in Illinois. That's after the Miss Stanton. And that was our homecoming. And then this is, and then senior year. So that's just the beach one time. That was our friend's 18th birthday. We just celebrated on the beach. That was Halloween. She was a pirate, and I was Kesha. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm joking. Um, this is when I had my bangs. Comment and let me know if you guys think I should get them back. I know there's a weird little split in them right there. But that was her birthday. She got a pillow fit and did Horace. And then this was for her 18th birthday party. Um, so this is that. This last page, I figured you gotta have a page of Waffle P because he's just our dog. And I just figured we've had so many cute pictures of him. I just wanted to, he's in there somewhere. He's, he's right there. I'm under a chair. And then I have a couple of pictures of us with him in there, like that one. And then that one. And there's actually one up on my desk I forgot to put in. I need to make room for it because it's signature waffle. It's him sleeping on his back. That's like the way he likes to sleep. And I, I really need to fit this in here somewhere. I don't really know where. But then you got like dog stickers that I just thought were really, really cute that I had. And I was like, I gotta put the wiener dog and the fuzzball in there. Because that's just like typical. But then these are the last two pages. And what I really wanted to do was, um, well for this page I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But on this very, very, very back page, I was going to get a picture from the day of her graduation with, with her and her gown and me all dressed up and blow it up and just put it on this page and, like, about half the page. And then for the bottom half, I'm just going to write, like, a long note. But pretty much that is her graduation present. And I just wanted to show you guys and just show you that for um graduation, you don't really, like 
you don't have to, like I said, give someone like $50. Um, hang on one sec, I'm going to point the camera back at me. Okay, but so yeah, for graduation, you don't really need to go out and pull $50 out of your bank and give it to someone and be like, oh, happy graduation. You can definitely find someone you love. If you love, um, I don't know, taking pictures, you can just like take pictures of a bunch of really pretty things and like put them in a photo, photo album or if you love, I don't know, I don't, if you like poetry, you could write them in a poem, like a really long poem. You could write, um, you could write a short story, like inspired by you. Just like get creative. You could draw someone a painting, like, that's what I told my one friend to do. Her cousin's graduating. She's like, I don't know what to give him. I'm broke. I don't have any money. And I was like, you're an amazing artist. Just draw my picture. And she's like, that's a really good idea. And so she's just doing like this abstract art thing with like his school colors. And it looks so sick. I'll see if I can get a picture of that and put it somewhere. Maybe I'll put a link on my Twitter. But it just looks like, it looks sick, guys. You don't even understand. It's so good. And I'm just like, I wish I had artistic ability. But oh, I'm thinking about it. The scrapbook. You don't have to do this for um, someone's um, graduation. Like, my passion, I love scrapbooking. Like, I was just elected historian on my drama club, so next year I'll be making the drama scrapbook. And I'm like, what? I'm going to trump. Like, uh, best scrapbook ever, man. Um, but anyway, um, my best friend, her name is Emily Tillo, and I met her in ninth grade. And she's like me from the other side of town. Like, we are exactly like she's like one of my best friends. And it was her birthday, and it was her 16th birthday, and I wanted to do something really special. But I wanted to do something a little different, because everyone was like, oh, I'm just going to get her money. But instead, I went out, and I bought her a scrapbook. I didn't buy one like this, but I bought, like, the big one like this. And I just used the pages it came with, like, these, like, last few pages I put in. And as you can see, it's kind of, like, busting open now. But I just bought a, a scrapbook, and the pages it came with, I just, like, went in. And I glued paper to the pages, and I, like, put stickers. Like, she loves golf, so I made, like, a golf page. And one page, I just, like, put, like, a flowery design, and, like, I made, like, a stencil of the letter E, and, like, put a sticker on there, and made it, like, puff up. And I put that on page, because, like, Emily E. And just, like, I pretty much, basically, what I did is I made her a scrapbook that she could put her pictures in, which is kind of like making a picture album. I guess that's what a scrapbook is, but I, like, instead of just, like, the flippy kind that you just, like, slide pictures into the slot, I made a scrapbook that she could, like, take pictures down on, and I haven't even actually asked her about it, like, if she's used it or not, but, I mean, I imagine she would, I don't know, I just feel like she would do something like that, because she's just, like, so sweet and so nice, and I was, like, she's such a nice person, I want to do something for her birthday, but, um, more of the story, guys, graduations are coming up, and, um, I keep saying this, but you don't need to spend a lot of money. I mean, it might look like the scrapbook costs a lot of money, but I actually, like, the scrapbook itself, I won in a um, carnival game. It was, like, the Wheel of Fortune, pretty much. And, um, I won it. And it, like, came in this basket of all the scrapbooks. So it's, like, the scrapbook just, like, I had all the stuff already, like, besides the pictures. But, I mean, that's just, like, buy one pack of photo paper and print them all out. But, uh, and then the card was really cheap, just like a little card from Hallmark, and you don't even need a card. But I mean, really, like, if you wanted to, you could just get someone a card and just write them a really, really nice little message on the inside. Just be like, I'm going to miss you so much. I don't know, just make it you, make it personal, then send some inside jokes. Um, because the thing with gifts is it doesn't have to be a lot more. It isn't always better. Um, sometimes it's just the things from the heart that mean a lot, and that just sounded really sappy, but, um, yeah, I'm really good with coming up with gift ideas, um, not, like, trying to brag, I'm not trying to brag at all, I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, I always get my friends balloons on their birthday, <laughs> so, like, all my friends are telling me that, like, my birthday's on Thursday, and they're gonna be like, you're gonna have, like, 20 balloons to carry around with you on school, because all my friends are like, oh, I'm gonna get you a balloon for your birthday, because you got me one, so hopefully that's not gonna happen, because as much, uh, like, uh, like, as awesome, so, that was a weird, like, jumble of words, but, um, as awesome as it would be to have, like, 20 balloons, that could cause, like, traffic jams. Like, my school gets really crowded because the hallways are really narrow, so can you guys, like, see me, like, walking through my school with, like, my little bag and all the balloons tied to it, and then just, like, like, hitting people in the face and everything? God, that would be kind of bad. I need to not let that happen. Sorry, this is my Garnier ultra lift anti-wrinkle eye roller this thing is amazing you guys should invest your money in one of these they're only like 11 dollars at target i bet you they're even cheaper at walmart i love it i'm gonna put it down really it's distracting me 
But so what am I talking about balloons my birthday? Yeah, my birthday. I'm so excited. Um, for real, I don't remember what I was saying. So yeah, I remember, like, I remember what I said about the balloons, like, about how they're going to be everywhere, but, you know, yeah. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm an awesome gift giver. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to brag, but if you guys ever need advice on what to get someone for a gift, definitely talk to me. Like, leave me a comment or send me a message, and I will for sure respond. Like, I get on my YouTube account, like, three times a day, pretty much. And, um, my friend actually, like, showed me a way to hack the school computer so that it's YouTube not blocked. So I've been getting on there sometimes and, like, checking their stuff during school. And it's pretty fun because, like, school is kind of like a joke right now. But, okay, so, like, for example, like, me knowing gifts, um, I swear it seems like I'm, like, tooting my own horn. I promise you I'm not. I'm trying to be modest. I promise I'm modest. Um, my sister had a dog party tonight for drama, which is, like, our drama teacher is, like, the coolest lady ever. Um, and every year she invites... And every year she invites all the seniors over to her house for a dog party. And she's like, you get a gag gift. And if you don't know what a gag gift is, it's just kind of like a corny little gift, like kind of like a joke, just like, haha, that's funny. But the thing is, it's like this like intricate way of like exchanging gifts and trading. You like roll the dice, and if you get like a 7 or 11, you have to like trade, or if you get another number, you can steal someone's, or if you get another one, you have to give yours up. I don't know, it's really weird. But, um, so everyone gets a gag gift, and then... Whatever you get at the end of the night, you have to display in your dorm room for a year. I don't know how many people actually do that, but I think it'd be really funny if you did. But so my sister's like freaking out for you, like, oh my god, what am I going to get? And so I was like, well, let's go to the party store and see what we can find. Because the party store always has something good. And so we're walking up and down the aisles, like, Shannon, come here right now. And she's like, what? I'm freaking out. I was like, no, 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 just, just come here. I think I found something for you. And I found this inflatable toilet. And I was like, just pack it in, like, the bag it came in. She's like, no, 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 I'm going to blow it up. So she blows up this toilet, and we're reading the back, and it's like, it's an over-the-hill thing. And it's like a portable potty for when you're old, and you can't make it to the bathroom. And so she wrapped this gift, and it's literally, like, okay, it's, like, this wide. It's, like, wider than this. Like, it's, like, like, maybe, like, three feet wide, maybe, like five feet tall, like, it is huge, guys, she used a whole roll of wrapping paper to wrap it, but, um, and she's like, I'm gonna bring this, and she folded it, so it does not look like a toilet at all, and it's just really funny, but that's just another story on, yeah, my life, so, so she's at that party right now, so I'm really bored, so I'm probably gonna go upload a lot more videos right now, yeah, that sounds like it'd be fun. I really don't feel like editing this, though, so if I do end up not editing it, I'm sorry if I make weird faces or yawn like I'm about to. <sighs> sorry, guys, if you've noticed, I have really long yawns. Okay, so for real, I just want to, like, sit here and talk to you guys. Like, for real, I, I just think it's fun talking to you guys. It's just, I like doing it. I like letting you learn about me. Oh, I have an idea. Um, if you guys want to know anything about me, this is just really random. Just go ahead and write me a message, and I will answer any questions you want, because I'm slowly becoming a little bit more open with you guys. Um, I really want to be, like, available, I guess you could say, like, out there. I don't want you to feel like you can't contact me. I don't want to be, like, if I ever become, like, Big Shot Guru, guru, guru I don't know, I really can't say that right now, or whatever, I don't want to be, like not ever answering responses, like, I'm still gonna, like, always get on YouTube, like, once a day, twice a day, whatever, at least once a day, I just, like, respond to all my comments, and just, like, everything like that, because I really like responding to comments, like, if you notice on Facebook, like, well, you guys wouldn't notice, you're not my friend, but, like, on Facebook, like, you know how people, like, just, like, comment, like, a hundred times on, like, status and stuff, like, I will never be the one that has the last word, like, I just, I, I mean, I am the one that has lots of I just keep commenting, like, I'll do a smiley face, I'll do a heart, I'll just keep going, because I love responding to comments, but I really don't know how long I've been shooting now, but, um, it is really exciting, because I got a little message the other day, like, this blue bar, and I was like, what does this say? I don't feel like reading it, but then I read it, and it's like, congratulations, you can now post videos that are over, uh, 20, or 15, or, yeah, 15 minutes long, I was like, oh, are you serious? That's so exciting, because I had no idea how the heck I was ever going to get that. And my videos tend to be really long, especially, like, tutorials and stuff, but I got that video and I was stoked. But, um, 
so I probably need to let this go because it's been like 15 minutes, maybe more. So I'm gonna sign off now. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Yeah. Um. Oh, today in drama I had to play a ghetto stripper, and I'm just gonna leave that at that. Um, it's kind of a long story to go into, but if you're interested in hearing about my role as a ghetto stripper that did not strip for a Sasquatch and then got killed and the murder got investigated by a CIA agent, don't ask me, it was my drama teacher's idea, um, leave a comment and I will do a full, um, report on that and maybe, maybe if you guys are lucky, I'll get the people that did it with me back together and we'll, like, reenact it for you. Oh, that'd be awesome. Okay, but anyway, so, um... Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go now. I'm stopping playing with stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry that I haven't really been looking at the camera the whole time. I just kept, like, playing with stuff. I have, like, I have a bobby pin down here. I have a comb. I have my eye primer. I have my hair scissors. I just, like, I need to clean because it's a mess, and it's just, like, distracting me, and I just kept looking down and, like, playing with stuff. I'm like, oh. But, okay, I'm focused now, and I'm going to sign off because this video is getting really, really long. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Follow my Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I really need to do a contest soon. Yeah. So, I'm going to get that up pretty soon. Maybe, if I think of one. I don't know. Um, once I reach... This is this is new, by the way. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. Maybe it'll be like an Urban Decay palette. Maybe it'll be a Mac gift card. I don't really know. But whatever it ends up being, yeah, definitely subscribe and check that out and enter my contest. Alright, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.